Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we are going to solve one very interesting question on exponential equations. It is 2 power x equal to square root 500 power x minus 100 power x over 10. We have to find out real solutions only. Let's get started. I will begin this video by writing the most powerful exponential property. It is a power b whole power c. Any time we can write a power c whole power b or if required then a power b times c. This is property number 1 and second property which I will use it will be a over b whole power n. We can write equal to a power n divided by b power n. So let's apply both the properties but before that I will consider squaring both sides. So RH is square also. Now using property number 2 in RHS and property number 1 in LHS. Let's apply. So I can write LHS as 2 power 2 whole power x. See this property. And RHS I will write it is square root of 500 power x minus 100 power x whole square and denominator I will be writing 10 whole square using property number 2. Now I can cancel square root with square. So I can write RHS as 500 power x minus 100 power x divided by 100 and here this is 4 so I can write 4 power x. This equation is exponential without radicals. Now cross multiply. So I can write 500 power x minus 100 power x equal to 100 times 4 power x. Now I will consider division both sides. So I will divide both sides by 100 power x. This side also. As we know exponential function cannot intersect x axis. So this won't be 0. Now I will split. So I can write 500 power x divided by 100 power x minus 100 power x divided by 100 power x equal to I will write 100 times 4 power x over 100 power x. Now I will apply the same property in the RHS property number 2 and LHS if I will apply then I can write a power x over b power x then we can write a over b whole power x. Let's apply. So I will write 500 over 100 whole power x minus this will become 1 straight away equal to 100 times here I can write 4 over 100 whole power x. Now I can cancel these two zeros and here I can cancel by writing over there 1 and 25. So it is converting into 5 power x minus 1 equal to 100 times 1 over 25 whole power x which further I can write 100 divided by 25 power x. Now I will cross multiply once again as denominator is exponential function cannot be 0. So I can write 25 power x in bracket 5 power x minus 1 equal to 100. Now I will write 25 as 5 square 
whole power x 5 power x minus 1 equal to 100. Again, I can swap these powers using exponential property. So it will become 5 power x whole square times 5 power x minus 1 equal to 100. Let's consider substitution. So I will write here let 5 power x suppose equal to a. So I will be writing a square. Here it is a minus 1. RHS is 100. Multiply, I will write a cube minus a square minus 100. This will become 0. This is one cubic equation and I will solve using factorization method. So I will split minus 100 as a cube minus a square minus 125 plus 25 equal to 0. Now 125 is 5 cube. So I will write a cube minus 5 cube. Then I will write minus a square plus 25. So if I will take minus common, then a square minus 25 equal to 0. Let me write here. I will write a cube minus 5 cube minus in bracket it was 5 was common a square minus 25 and then I will write right hand side 0. It was only minus common. Okay. Now I will consider two identities a cube minus b cube and a square minus b square. It is 5 is square minus sign in between a cube minus 5 cube. Right hand side is 0. a cube minus b cube a minus b a square plus b square plus a b. So I will write 5a plus 25. Here a plus 5 a minus 5. Right hand side is 0. Now I can see a minus 5 is overall common. So in bracket I will have a square plus 5a plus 25 then minus of a plus 5. So I will write minus a minus 5 and right hand side is 0. Now a minus 5 times a square 5a minus a, so plus 4a, 25 minus 5, so 20, equal to 0. So from here I can write either a minus 5 will be 0 or a square plus 4a plus 20, this equal to 0. So let me solve this quadratic first. So this will give us let me check discriminant itself. Delta B square. So 4 square minus 4 AC. So A is 1. C is 20. So this is 16 minus 80. Which is actually negative number. Value will be minus 64. Because of negative, complex solutions will generate. So we can reject this. Reject it. Now which solution is accepted? It is A equal to 5. So what was A? Let me write here. A was our substitution. It was 5 power x. So I will write here 5 power x equal to 5. That means 5 power 1. So I can write x equal to 1. This is our final answer. Let us cross examine. So I will write here verification. 
here i will write our solution x equal to 1 let's check lhs will be 2 power 1 right hand side if i will write then i will be writing 500 power 1 minus 100 power 1 divided by 10 so left hand side is 2 right hand side numerator is 500 minus 400 minus 100 this will give us 400 over 10 so i can write it is a square root 400 over 10 the square root 400 is 20 divided by 10 so this value is 2 lhs is 2 rhs is 2 so that means x is equal to 1 is true solution and this brings the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video do not forget friends to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye